one of the things that I was doing the other day in the garage, I was, um, well, Chantal came home from work, she said, have you had a good day? I went, yeah, awesome. She said, oh, what have you been doing? And I've just been pissing around in the garage, I just like messing around on the, uh, on the, on, with the bike, basically. It's not, I'm sure a lot of you will know and understand this, it's all about, I suppose, owning a motorbike and it's not just about the riding is it? I had a great day, I was in the garage and I was doing the um, suspension linkages, I was lubing them up and uh, while I was at it I'm stripped all the back end down, I've got this new jack which I love, I got it from Super Cheap Auto which is an Aussie um, company and they do these, eight, what do they call them? Um, that's like a hydraulic jack and it's a brilliant thing I loved it and it's it's cool it's got me inspired to do a lot more work on my bike and you get to know your bike don't you when you're sat when you're in the garage working on it and it's well I'm, I've got the whole day in there I'm not scrolling on my phone I'm not looking at screens I've got a job where I spend all my day looking at screens and um, you come home and I'm on bloody YouTube I'm doing the same and it's all that shit where you just lose your day. And I had such a good day when I was in the garage. I loved it. I had a, such a good time. And I think Chantal sort of rolled her eyes when she said, what have you been doing? I said, oh, I've been in the garage all day. And I love it. It's just awesome. I felt great at the end of the day that I just had a, a right sort of a right soul-filled day. It was awesome. And um, living the dream, just getting to know my bike. and. It reminds me of doing stuff like this when you come out on a. I've been on big rides with with groups of people, and, and sometimes there's like a, a lead rider or a tail rider. And on one of the organised rides that we do with um, South Australian, um, now what are they? SA Outback Motorcycle Adventures. And there's a lad that always sits at the back, and he's sometimes on a T7, sometimes he's on a WR. And every opportunity is behind trees. He's up and around obstacles. Everybody else is sticking to gravel tracks and he's doing this, doing that, and he's, he's basically just learning his bike and just constantly getting dialed in. And I don't do enough of this sort of stuff, you know, coming down on tracks and just doing slow riding and pissing about. We should do stuff like that, it's good practice. And, and, and you know, just getting, get, getting to know your bike and get, just getting dialed in, I love it. Anyway, what was I gonna talk about today? Yeah, so while I was in the garage the other day, I'm doing this, um, these linkages and dummy chain, I stripped it all down clean and I'm thinking right, as usual I'm always thinking about content and what what's coming up next on the channel and uh, I was like, oh, yeah I want to talk about something, something I keep seeing people asking about what's what's a good well, somebody mentioned something about chain guides and how they're necessary and it got me thinking about the chain guide, about how, just how necessary it is. I'll, I'm going to talk about this because there's five things that I think are nailed on 100% necessary for off-roading on the T7. I've had this two and a half years now and I've had a bit of a grounding on it, I've done a fair bit of commuting, I've done, I've done all sorts of stuff. and off-roading, I found myself stuck in sand, I found, <laughs> just dropping it in places, broke my ribs, I've done all sorts, it's been a right giggle and ultimately I'm pretty up to speed on what I think it requires and like a lot of T7 owners I've done too much um, or maybe I did stuff in the wrong order, I don't say too much but I did too many things but I've come up with five things, check how many fingers and thumbs I've got that I think are the first things that anybody should do on a, on a T7 in relation to um, what, what's necessary. And the five main things I'm going to go through, and I've, I've missed one out, which everybody thinks I'm going to say, but if you're going to go off-roading on your bike, on a T7, the first thing I would buy, and if you come around and have a look, is, in fact, like I said, it's the chain guide. Not the chain guard, mine's missing at the moment, I'm doing something with it. But this thing here is possibly, I think, I reckon, the best item you can get if you're gonna be riding off-road. 
and if you don't have that get one absolutely nailed on Yamaha for me should in fact fit them as standard that's the number one the first thing I would be getting for a T7 if you don't have one get one it'll save untold amount of damage being caused if you lost your chain or it come off it would smash through your crankcases or bring you off and I've had that on since new one I didn't I come from a road riding environment and it was an alien item to me and when I bought it they said oh do you want a chain guide ordering I went what's that and he went yeah you need one of them so I just got it done and um, I fully understood as soon as I started riding off road what it was all about so that's your number one item that's the first thing anybody should buy if you've got a T7 and you're going off road next up Let's go, they're not in any particular order. Let's talk about Bart Busters. These are a splendid item and there's a service equivalent. You always need these, protects you. Oh, basically everything up here. You've got your brake fluid reservoir this side, you've got your brake levers. Not only that, protects your hands. These are a necessary item. Again, not only are they necessary for protecting your bike down the side, they're just, cock on you don't ever be want to be without them and they also look awesome i don't think any adventure bike should be without the bart buster type protection uh, a service do them there's a new company in america i'll put a link up or not a new company but new to me that i've noticed recently and somebody's pointing me in their direction that do something very similar and they're only a small outfit i'll put a link up for them um it's absolutely nailed on that's your number two and again not in any not necessarily in any order um, third item that is an absolute nailed on must have headlight protection if you're off road without a doubt if you ended up riding along and you're amongst a group of people and you lost your headlight and you've gone into dusk you're stuck till the next day you can't be riding at night without lights so again and for, for the cost of these not a lot of money for the amount of protection if you smash your headlight you're looking at hundreds Seven hundred, eight hundred dollars, I think, for a new headlight unit for the T7, which is unbelievable. Item number four. Again, you shouldn't be riding away from your dealer without one of these. It's your rad guard. You're off the road if you lose your radiator. Uh, you've got so much happening in front of you. You've got rocks, boulders, all sorts of stuff flying up at you. You get a bullet all through there. You're losing coolant. You're out of the game. Again not an expensive item so that's your number four number five for me your t7 it, it comes with a bash plate of sorts however is it capable if you're going to ride off road uh, that's debatable i would say no you the thing to do is look at something that's going to offer a little bit more protection and this is the uh, AXP composite bash, bash guard and it offers a little bit more protection than the standard one, a lot of them do. Um, the good thing I like about this one is it also protects the water um, coolant, what they call that bloody thing, I've just got a brain fart, but basically your, your, your engine casings and this bog, what's that bloody thing called there, I don't freaking know, I've just gone, I've had a right brain fart, but that, that, come here, have a look, this thing, right, this thing here, it protects that, and I've got a brain fart, so that, that, it also protects the underneath of the suspension, quality item, and they're the only five things you need, I think, if you're riding off road, as the first five things you buy, obviously, now, people are going to go, what about your engine guards, I honestly believe that, if you've got a decent bash plate and bash bar busters are similar, you don't necessarily need engine guards and you've got a lot of protection there anyway. And I've been off this bike quite a few times and the only thing I've scratched is the ends of these, maybe a bit here, but the crash guards got scratched and I wonder quite often if they weren't there am I actually going to touch the ground I'm not on an hard enduro bike I'm not climbing rocks I'm on gravel tracks and roads bit of muddy track is it going to damage the bike if I don't have 
engine guards. I actually don't think so. I saved myself a fortune, saved five or six kilos of weight, whatever they weigh, and I'm doing without them. So that's my five that I think you need before you buy anything else if you're going to be riding off-road, just purely for protection. There's a lot of other things you can look at. I mean, of course, I've got small items such as these sliders front and rear, um, and, you know, there's various bits and bats you can add to it for accessories-wise, but they're your five main ones that you need, and yeah, that's what it's all about, really, just protecting your bike to the extent that if you're going to come off and damage something, you're going to be able to protect it and get home. You know, they're, they're the things, like you say, coolant, headlight, control gear up here. And, um, yeah, this is what it's all about, just getting home from your ride. So there you go. I'm going to have a bit of a blast up and down this track and have a bit of a play and go from there. Uh, that's it, really. Did I, put, did, I didn't put my hat on, did I? Let me talk to you about my hat. Check these out. New rider guider caps. Aren't they awesome? I might actually start selling these. More of that later. Because I can. Alright, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.